everyone. Hi, I'm with Miss Fro Philippines 2021 and Miss Fro 2021 and 2022 top 12 semi finalists. Tracy Marine Perez in the house. Ah, my God, it's been a while, uh, Tracy. Actually, nakita pala tayo nung nakaraang buwan. <laughs> of course. Pero, syempre, ayun. Yan, tinanong na nga yung pageant page ko na bago. It's pageant nobles, actually. Pageant nobles by Sis Jill. Everything. I've seen her for so long and she never really failed to show her support and love sa lahat ng candidates, every Miss Philippines and every queen. So, thank you, Sis Jill. Of course, naalala ko pa nung, nung ano press ko ni Emma noon, 2021. <laughs> okay, sige, bago tayo pumunta doon sa mga ano, medyo serious question, doon muna tayo sa mga funny question. Uh, dahil, dahil may impression yung mga co-queens mo ng 2021 sa akin, anong first impression mo una mo ako nakita noon? First impression, oh my gosh. Kala ko mas sungit ko. <laughs> No, kasi hindi ka mas... Si Sis Jel, hindi siya masyadong masalita. Aminin. And from afar, if hindi mo siya makausap, parang meron kang vibe na either mahiyain or masungit ng very, very light. Meron kang the, what they call the RBF, the beautiful RBF. So, but when I got to know you, ang bait pala. And very supportive. I've also seen how you supported, especially Chantal. So, maraming salamat for doing that for my sisters. Yes. Pati si Trisha Martinez na Trisha, may kumare. <laughs> si Trisha Martinez na sabi akala niya eh graining queen ako noong time no <laughs> ng press ko. Oh At always kang naka-get up and fully made up in fairness. Today hindi ako naka-made up so hindi ako papakita sa camera of course. <laughs> Well, I remember that time when I went to Eman Vera's um, send-up press con. I think sa Quezon City yun. Uh, the uh, staffs of ALB asked me, anong sash ko daw, ano daw crown ko. <laughs> As a reigning queen. <laughs> I told them, uh, kasi may, meron ng second princess, so si Janel Lewis, tapos first princess si Rihanna pang hindi. Sabi ko, third princess po. <laughs> Ikaw yung next in line. Ako, ako na po yung last, next in line po noon, Charot. Kung may mag-resign man. <laughs> but anyway, ito na nga, yung mga serious question. Oh, serious talaga. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel uh, we were visited by, I mean, we were visited by the reigning Miss World and of course with Julia Morley today? Actually, super nagulat ako na at first because I really didn't know. I was expecting for them to come here October pa. But then suddenly I only learned it like a day ago, two nights ago, na pupunta na pala sila dito kasi they're just in Hong Kong. So, the diretso na lang daw sila dito. So, I'm like, wow, finally, after 2022, March 2022, I'm gonna see them once again. And just like what I said earlier, I really never thought that I would be seeing them again, especially Carolina, because she lives in Poland. And, girl, ang mahal ng ticket pa Poland. <laughs> so, parang ko, it's gonna be close to impossible. We still message from time to time. I still, kumusta her and all her ganaps. And she always replies. She always makes time for really catching up with friends from all over the world. So, I really appreciate that about her. Kaya, super natuwa ako that she still remembers me. We weren't group mates during that time. We were more than 100 countries and during my first, our first time in Puerto Rico, we didn't really have much time together. We didn't really even get the chance to talk. So nung second time na, the second batch, March 2022. So doon na kami medyo naging close. So ayun, I'm just very happy that I get to see her again. But <laughs> Yan, syempre, na-absorb ni Tracy ang ating energy eh. <laughs> so, sobrang ano, magnetizing, Diyos ko. Parang, parang, parang feeling ko, ano eh, iisa pa yata to. Charot. <laughs> so, ayun nga, looking back in your journey, uh, pinag-uusapan nyo kanina ni Adam, siguro nung pinaka-favorite mo. Kasi I, I think wala pang nagtatanong talaga about it eh. My favorite experience? Yes. Um... Yung friendship, yung friendship talaga, as in no joke, no eme, I really value the friends that I've made. Kasi it's real, it's true. I mean, if you visit other countries, 
meron akong matatawagan, meron akong mga message na, hey, I'm here, can we meet up? And it's, I would say it's a once in a lifetime experience being able to say that you have a friend all over the world. So I'm very privileged to have that kind of experience in me. So yun talaga yung babaunin ko for the rest of my life, the experiences and the memories I've made all throughout my journey in Puerto Rico. What's one lesson that you learned while competing during the pandemic twice? Because because I know you first competed back in 2019 Miss World Philippines and it's not pandemic yet that time. <laughs> and then you competed in Miss Universe Philippines 2020 as a semi-finalist as and now and then won Miss World Philippines 2021 debate and become ano, the 2021 top 12 semi-finalist internationally, diba? So, we're so proud of you. Ano? Yung greatest lesson siguro for me, well, you can never really be prepared enough. That's really what I'm, I want to say. And also to the next, the upcoming queens and the aspiring queens, kahit ilang taon man yan, ilang buwan mong paghandaan, you could never really say what's gonna happen on the day of, or once you're already at the competition. So, might as well not stress too much about it. Might as well just enjoy the journey. Mahirap man siyang gawin, I know, I understand. Mahirap mag-enjoy kung napipressure ka, pagod ka. Pero at the end of the day, yung matatandaan mo is not the pagod. It's the experiences that you've had, all the laughters that you were able to share with your co-candidates. Sana, you make friends. You make friends, real friends. And do not think about the competition too much. Yes, we want to win, but we also want to make memories. All right. And as you may know, some of your 2021 sisters competed in local or national pageants recently. So what's your uh, message to them? Oh my gosh. Laban lang mga sis, mga kumari ko. Um, I really admire you guys for trying, for keeping on trying. Same as me, I joined three times before I was finally able to be crowned as Miss Philippines, Miss World Philippines. So, iba-iba tayo ng journey, mahirap man. I hope that you continue keeping your dream, chasing for your dream. And what's meant for you will always be for you. So, laban lang, never give up. <laughs> Yung nga, no? Well... Sayang sila eh, manat siya kasi Trish. <laughs> kaya nga, kaya nga. Diyos ko po, the cringe. Anyway. <laughs> I really think na meron pang something for them. I don't know if it's in the pageant world or career-wise, but hopefully in the pageant world as well. Sana hindi pa napagod yung mare natin. <laughs> Yung nga, well, I, I kept on communicating with them and, well, they're not saying that they're closing their doors yet. Yeah, and make sure to get some rest to recuperate kasi nakakapagod mag-compete. It drains you, drains you financially too and mentally. So, magpahinga muna. Dapat fully ready ka when you come back. Fully ready means handa ka kahit anumang mangyari. Kahit hindi ka, like, doesn't really have to be perfect. But you know that your mindset is there and your heart is fully in it. All right, so nasa pageants tayo. And since you are a Miss Universe Philippines alumna and semi-finalist, ito yung very common question na tinatanong lately. Because last week, the owner of Miss Universe organization has lifted the age limit. So uh, if you're at you have to be at least 18 years old to, ah, to compete. So what's your opinion on that change? Well, Miss Universe is really known for breaking standards, breaking stereotypes. And that's one thing that I appreciate about them. It's very different as compared to Miss World, which I also respect and appreciate. So I think every organization really has um, their own principles that they stand for. And so with Miss Universe changing their age limit, I think it's a positive move forward when it comes to really inviting every single one to participate and to be a part of the Miss Universe family. So I have really, I have nothing against that and I only have respect for them. And then some pageants lately are removing the swimwear or swimsuit competition. And so what's your opinion on that as well? Well, Miss World doesn't have a swimsuit competition, only Miss World Philippines. And 
to be fair, in my experience, it removed that kind of pressure from me because you don't really have to think of how I look on a swimsuit. I mean, it takes a lot of effort and work, hard work, to be able to be confident in your own skin. Yes, you could, it definitely pays to work out to be physically fit and everything, but at the same time, it's about the confidence. It's about being confident enough to be able to walk on a swimsuit and not everyone is comfortable not everyone is comfortable doing that and if we're opening that to a lot of girls who are not as comfortable yet but they have something that they want to put out there something else that they could offer maybe their wits their brains their what their passion is their advocacy and i should i think we should not limit a girl just on swimsuit alone so if we remove that aspect i think a beauty patch could still be as complete as it usually is. Ayun, um, there are so many pageants uh, out there right now, especially nat national pageants here in the Philippines have divided. But there are so many organizations. What's your opinion on that? Well, we are a pageant country. We are a pageant-loving community as well. So if more organizations really want to make use of their platforms if a lot more opportunities are going to be open for all our ladies out there i have really nothing against that to be honest um with miss well we always say there's big four pageants big five pageants and there really is nothing wrong with being inspired by that and wanting to create your own space your own community your own platform to reach as much girls as you could possibly um reach so that you could give them the same opportunity if they're not in a way they're not really part they couldn't be a part of the bigger organizations maybe they could start somewhere and then work their way towards building their selves building their confidence building their resources so that in the end they could they could participate in international pageants and uh, you know um, the Miss World Organization and their reigning queen will have a lot of activities this week. Will you join their, them? Um, I think they'll, they'll be here for just three, four days. And for the most part of it, I will be there. Um, I will really make myself available as much as possible because Carolina was my batchmate. And if I could spend the most time with her, I would. So I think so. I think you might see more of me in the upcoming days, hopefully. Yes, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Of course. <laughs> yes. Um, here and also in bench. Yes. Guys, watch our bench fashion week. That I'm going to be walking tomorrow for Kashika. So, see you there. Speaking of bench, say puta tayo sa bench part. What keeps you busy right now after pageantry? Well, left and right, I'm very blessed and privileged to have three four endorsements now um, um yeah i have ongoing contracts with a few brands so i have responsibilities with them so i'm really giving my everything to make them happy and to really push for my own brand myself and at the same time i'm also still doing a lot of hosting for pageants for corporate sometimes i'm also doing a lot of judging and i'm also doing acting on the side i have i have an ongoing film actually it's not finished yet and i'm not very sure as to when it's going to be out but hope i will share more about it once i'm allowed to so i hope you can support me in my very first major acting stint of course ka ba ng tv show speaking of acting i don't know um i hope so i don't really have the exact plans yet alam mo naman if the opportunity comes, just grab it and make use of it and give your 100%. Because not every day will you get that opportunity. Grabe. If you will be, if you will be accepted for a particular role, what role will it be? I'm very open to all the possibilities as long as it's um, a decent role. I'm very straight with that. Um, I'm, I don't really see myself having a love team either as much as possible because I would really love to set a standard for women, not really having to rely on a partner to succeed in the industry. I know it's, it's hell-bent that only 
love teams could be successful here, but I hope I'm one of the few ones that could break it. Yeah, I'll remember Emmanuel Vera's two films that uh, na was released Netflix last time, no? Yeah. So lastly, uh, what's your message to all your supporters? Because we never actually heard it after the competition. Actually, after Miss World Philippines and even after Miss World. Eh. So what's your message to all of them, sa aming mga supporters mo? Sa lahat ng mga pageant fans, pageant vloggers, and sa buong pageant community in general, our media friends speci specifically, um, I just still remember the time that I started and how you never got tired of me. And every single day, you always show up, kahit minsan madalian yung schedule, you always show up for your girls and for us to show your support and to show that you're there for us. So, maraming maraming salamat po. If I've never said it enough, um, please forgive me. Um, I've, I've posted a lot about it and on all the times that I see you and all the events, I also mention it a lot of times. But again, I can never thank you enough for all the effort that you do for all of us. So maraming maraming salamat po talaga. And I hope to continue to see you in all the events in the future. And to ho and hopefully you could support all the girls still, all the queens moving forward. Because it's all for our country. It's all for the Philippines. Alright, thank you so much, Howard. Yeah, actually, it's not that short. It, it's almost 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, cut mo na lang. <laughs> Charot lang. But I, but I, no, no, because I know everyone will enjoy this video, of course, because we never heard from you after your competition. So once again, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yes, our Miss World Philippines 2021 and Miss World 2021 tw Top 12 semi-finalist Tracy Maureen Paris from Cebu City. City. The Queen City of the South. Thank you. Wow, you're actually here. And it's just so great to be able to catch up. And I've learned how busy she is. And despite her busy schedule and how tired she must be feeling right now, she still doesn't fail on giving us her brightest smile, giving off the best energy that she could. So Carolina, thank you so much for making Filipinos happy. And I hope that we're able to make you feel special as well. And I hope that you could come back probably next year. Gorgeous naman. Parang lalaban pa.